Our peacocks are about a month old and our turkey kiwi has been doing a pretty good job taking care of them. So now it's time, now they're finally old enough to be released into our pasture. that you can clip the wings of peacocks, and that's a pretty good way of keeping them in your yard. They're still babies, so I'm pretty confident that they won't fly over the fence. The bittersweet news is we're not gonna keep them on our farm forever because they're too loud being raised in this city. But for right now, we want them to free range in our yard until they grow to adulthood. Can you hold them without? <laughs> Gosh, they are so wild. Get that wing out. That's a big old wing. All right, so we don't need to cut all the way back. Just about to there. Cut a couple more in that one. For those of you that know the difference between males and females, let us know what you think. I think they're both females, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you like me. <laughs> oh my gosh. He sat on my shoulder for just a minute like he liked me. He was just like being a little parrot. And then he did that. And you have another one? Well, it's appropriate because that's the farter shirt, so. <laughs> All right, Kiwi hey. gets released first. Okay, we'll bring them right to you. We'll bring them right to you, okay? All right. Here they come, here they come. Kevin was afraid come. that Kiwi was gonna run away, but she's still here, she's waiting. Yeah, she's <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. What's that, Luna? Careful, Luna, you're gonna get an eyeful. Yeah, be careful. All right, I think they'll do well out there in the pasture. The chickens sometimes get after the babies, but Kiwi's a really good protector. As you guys have seen in the last video, we showed where she was fighting the chickens to protect her little baby turkeys. Do you hear that buzzing? That's crazy. It's so loud. The cicadas in the trees come around here every monsoon season. So August and September, this is the lovely sound we have to listen to. Although it doesn't bug me too bad. It reminds me of my summers growing up here in Arizona. It's just tough to film with the sound. Come on, Doris. Come on, Doris. Yeah. He said, do you like milk and Doris or Penny better? I like milk and Okay. Well, we forgot to lock the babies up last night, so mamas aren't gonna have much milk because they're still, if you can believe it, nursing their babies, even though their babies are like eight months old. I knew you were pregnant, Willow. I knew it. You just Can so you believe fat. it? Just so fat. Can you believe she's gonna have babies? I'm kind of debating, like maybe we should ultrasound her. I don't know. All right, see you later, Doris. And Willow is hungry. Starving. One, two, yeah. Now that she's pregnant, she eats anything and everything. Soggy pellets. <laughs> hey, come on. Oh, Willow. You're just the cutest thing ever. Cute little belly. Cute little itty bitty teats there. The buck that we bred Willow with, you guys helped choose, remember? It was Carl. And I think he's gonna produce really cute babies, so it'll be fun to see what kind of colors come out of them. You fixed the feeder. Put the legs back on. How do you feel about that, Ron? He doesn't like it. Well, we don't have to milk Luna and we don't have to milk Tilly because they've been around their babies. Yep, we just chill. So sorry guys, no milking of Luna today or Tilly. So we're just gonna have to give them a little, little scratch under the chin. 
They're scared of the goats. They're like, did you see I just pecked her? Yeah, they definitely don't like the goat. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I can swear that like that one was a rooster too. They I think so. Maybe just they're all so big. A few weeks ago, we rescued some liege fighter chickens. They actually become three feet tall, which is giant for a chicken. And we can't really tell which ones are roosters. We're, we're guessing that a few of them are roosters, but nobody's crowed yet. So either they're really quiet or they're not roosters. All right, now that she's pregnant, she should have pregnant cravings for popsicles. Nope, Willow. one poop on the nose and she turned away. Nope, she doesn't Willow. like them. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Ah, not the popsicle. <laughs> Look at her. Look at Tilly. Oh, she almost had butt. Tilly butt. wants to. She <laughs> wants to eat them, but. Oh. All right, she doesn't sneeze anymore. We have two popsicle goats. Yum. Look, the chickens get the droppings. He needs her pacifier. <laughs> you can't eat the pacifier, Joe. Hurry, she's gonna swallow it! <laughs> she oh my won't. gosh, yeah, she would. It's, it's too Tilly big. we're talking about here. <laughs> okay, Manny, there's some on the ground. Funniest thing about my dad is that he always comes home with some weird thing he found on the side of the road. So great. Craigslist craft. Oh my gosh. Okay. 30 bucks on Craigslist. 30 bucks. Wait. We're not gonna have a goat pull this, right, Dad? <laughs> a goat could pull it, but probably in a golf cart. Oh, that's what it's for. Was wondering. You could drive things to my friend's house or just have my friend in the back of that thing. Oh, there you go. Ten. Wow, it opens. <laughs> go like this. But why is that useful? To dump. Oh, to dump. Dump dirt and stuff. That's pretty cool. All right. Okay, what do you guys think? Is it craft or crap? Another awesome Craigslist find. This small piano only has six octaves instead of eight for free. Look at that. It even works and everything. Welcome to opening package. All right, let's start with the first one. You're, now you're gonna use your scissors, just gonna... Scissors! Rip it open. Scissors are okay. when you're not super strong. <laughs> this is homemade goat soap. This is from Megan. Thank you so much. That's Megan. awesome. Use We're that instead. We're smelling good. <laughs> yeah, we need it. This is from oh. Carrie. Carrie? Bubble wrap! Wait. Oh my god. What is it? It's, it's tea. tea. It's food. food. Guava macadamia shortbread. Whoa. Ooh, shortbread. Fancy. It looks like all stuff from Hawaii. Dry wow. roasted yeah, macadamia. Yeah, it's actually from Hawaii. What? Oh my god. Yeah. A coconut air fresher from Hawaii. Fresher or freshener? Oh, freshener. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Freshener. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh there's much more. Pedro Buck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nigel Buck. 
I'm a, that's not their last name. I think it's just <laughs> the <laughs> same. Thing. Well, if we ever go to Hawaii, we'll have oh, to visit them. Oh, they named one of their goats Willow, too. Oh. oh. I already opened this one because I was so excited. But this one is from Madeline. Okay, so there's a whole package in here. Cat food. Wow. Oh my gosh, loads of cat toys. There's these things, which we have one, but the cats destroyed it. We have these things. Um, and then a book, I, this is actually, I do read this series. So wow. Made a good guess. Yeah, they did make a good guess. Yeah. There's canned food. Wow. A lot of it. We got all these letters for you guys, and we read, read through them, and we loved them. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you to everybody who sent us all these awesome gifts and letters. So we're gonna send you guys all something back. So look in the mail for a little fun card from us. Chloe's got your tube. Over there. <laughs> Too bad I can't use that. <laughs> oh, I never get it. It's cute. He thinks I'm a cat. He always grooms my beard for me. Mm -hmm. 